Hello, folks. Bit of a late prep on this one. But yeah, we're here today. What we're going to do today is we're going to kind of wind the clock back a little bit. Wind it all the way back. While well, I've got this guy, stop this guy playing. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to wind the clock back a, well over a year um, to a pattern I did um, posting Team Scroll saw for a baby group. Turned out to be um, the perfect starter pattern for a whole bunch of people. And lots of people cut it and it was quite popular and it was good, which is good. Kind of looks like this guy. So this was the first cut of it done. What we're going to do today is we're not going to replicate this guy because I never filmed this. I never filmed this, just took a few pictures. We're going to do a, a freestanding version of this guy. So he's stained, he's not sprayed. We might spray the pot, don't know, we'll see. But we're going to do this guy again, make him freestanding, a bit bigger, maybe, and we'll see how that works out. All right. So a little bit of fun, a little bit of fun today. Nice and quick, I hope. At 4.30, we have Andy Hill doing a premiere. If we're not finished, go over to Andy's premiere, see him carve in Harlequin, and then come on back. Cool. Right, so we're going to go over to the scroll bench, and we're going to see how this works out. Cool. So, backer, and... What we're going to be doing over here is we're cutting this guy out, all the detail out, make sure we're getting all of this. So lots of this we have to glue down. Since the original version of this was kind of hand sketched, there's lots of raggy edges. I've squared them up a little bit, corrected some of the mouth shape and improved the eyes. But basically that's it. I've left the marks in where the original lines were, just to show us what we were doing from last time. Can we go to the so so oh the other great thing about this pattern and one of the things that makes it so good as a beginner pattern is there's only really three um internal cuts and they're big spaces. So even if you've got a scroll saw with a pinned blade, you can drill a lovely big hole, cut this thing out. Easy to get people going, easy to get making something they'll enjoy. So yeah, pretty good. Can we go to the scroll saw, please? Do, do, do. Cool. So I don't expect this cut to take a long time. Like I say, it's a wonderfully easy cut. And then we can go on to staining and mounting. The backer will need sprayed though. Just when I thought about it from what I said earlier on. And he'll need a mount. So we'll make the mount and get them sprayed first. And then we'll do the detail. You can see I think probably an hour and a half for the full thing. Like I say, you don't need a an amazing saw to cut this out or have been scrolling for ages. This pattern is one of the easiest ones I, I've made. And uh, I thoroughly recommend it. If you've got a scroll saw sitting in the corner and you're looking to get some, knock something out just to get your eye in and make it worthwhile learning how to cut in the saw, you could do a lot worse than this pattern. Besides, so many of the patterns out there are chargeable. Whereas this guy is in, is free along with a whole bunch of the other patterns we do on the show. Are in Team Scroll Saw on Facebook. Hi Steve. Hi to everyone out there. As I was saying, head over to Facebook, 
uh, if you're interested in scrolling or doing a bit of scrolling, look up Team Scroll Sir. You'll find a whole bunch of patterns for free in there. There's a couple of other groups out on Facebook. Same deal with the free patterns. Go and check them out. There's a couple of blogs. Hi, Dark Man. How are you? My wife's just asked, who is this DIY Dark Matter? DIY Dark Matter is the one and only unique man with an amazing beard and a liking for green lights on his lives. I'm afraid Johnny does have an amazing beard. There's no lies in that. Who says he's dead sexy? Oh, John says he's dead sexy. What in the sense of like a zombie? Well, I'm just thinking, you know, corpse braid and all that. Because he knows you're Chinese. I know you're not Chinese, but it's the closest thing to get, you know, when you're trying to explain to someone that you're actually Malaysian Chinese. You know? It's very complicated. Take the compliment. He's being nice. Wayne's safe there, mate. I think Wayne is definitely the hand model amongst us. 
He now even has an artistic scar on one hand. While I've got this off, I'll just peel this guy off. He's being a bit of an arse. What is the collective noun for Johns? We discovered that it was a matrix for Steve's. We had a matrix. That's gone again. I think I've got a bad bunch of blades snapped in the same place. Yep, that snapped in the same place. I think these are a bad bunch. I had a batch of these at Christmas that were a nightmare. I don't usually, that's why this is so annoying. Usually when I see this happening, I start to get suspicious of a batch of blades. Usually what I do is when I'm suspicious I'll change size for a while. Hello. A gift of John's. That's very intelligent and well thought through. I, I feel it's not funny enough though. A baptism of John's. Oh, I like that one. Pack of Johnnies. Oh, I like that. Uh, a prophylactic of Johns. I see where you're coming from there. Can we go to the scroll bench, please? Yeah. Ah, so what I use for that there's a Dremel with a very fine drill bit on a, this is a Dremel adapter, it's a tool for it, tool, where am I going? It's an add-on to the Dremel that allows you to treat it like a router, but what it does give you is an exact right angle hole to the surface of the material. So you can drill with a very fine drill. And this one's a, wire, a cordless one, this is a Dremel 8200. Actually, this is 8100, 2000 must be up there. Um, and that's what we use, and that gives you an exact drill through. I'll be showing you guys in a minute using that, so watch this space. A hobo of Jones. He he he. I think I was quite taken with a baptism of Jones. I thought that was quite good, very intelligent. However, a carbide bits, yeah, but we're not doing carving on it, mate. Just for drilling holes and plywood. Yeah, 8,200 would be the one that would put them on. Hohoba, hohoba. Ho 
Hey Steve, how are you? Great live, mate. A font of John's. Okay, a font. Mr. Wayne, how are you, sir? Mrs. Kirkwood sends her regards. Okay. Oh, damn it. That was clever. I dropped all my blades on the floor. Do. I'll get them in a minute. <laughs> They've all landed in the right place. Looks like a spider's died and fallen on the floor. There we go. What happens when you go and put the cap in the wrong end? Boy's a buffoon. Right. So we're going to do this guy. So most of the the freestanding ones that I've done need need a base to make them stand up. And the best way to do that I've found. I have to take a bit of plywood, so I'm glad I tell you what, let me show you one so we get we've got context. So here's the Pac-Man from last week. So got his base and on the back we see blood of wood blood with a block of wood with a piece of wood roughly sitting centre. That provides back pressure, keeps them from falling over plus support. A little bit of weight, stops them tipping over. So we're gonna replicate this idea, it works really well. So far, so to do that, we need a block of wood, and we need a lump. A lump. That's a fun sound. A lump. The lump of play. At this point, Wayne's cringing, going, "What kind of accent was that?" Right. So we'll lift our guy out of the way for a minute. So we have, we need the base to be ish the size of our guy. So using the grid, pop them over, we'll just kind of go, oh, that looks about right. The backer, you don't want to be seen from the front. So again, just a little mark, should be fine. Can we go to the bandsaw please? It's a new one for you. Let's see how you go on. Have you found the bandsaw? Woo! -hoo! I'm here, so let's just flick on uh, dust collection, fire up the bandsaw. So we're just going to freehand these off. Um, roughly speaking, should be two. Same conversation with this guy, just run them off. Cool. Right. So we have our base and we have our backer. Can we go to the coloring bench, please? Yes, please. So what we're going to do over here is we're just going to give these guys a, a quick sand. He's got some raggies on the back. He's going to get two coats. So we're going to just quickly rub them down, get in about all the nuts and crannies. Normally I don't bother doing this until after the first coat, but because he's getting mounted, it'll be a pain in the proverbial to correct that any little pieces. In terms of sandpaper, I always use roughly 240. The ply that I use for most of these pieces responds pretty well to them. If I'm having to use anything more aggressive, it's because I've made an absolute mistake. Hey Fingers, how are you sir? Okay. Ah, so I'm going to have to, so, cool, so, 
That's the way he's going to be when he's mounted. So we need the back. So to get the back right, what we're looking for, is that a bit raggy? Yeah, we'll just do the edge of this. Seems to be a day for the drops in. My lord. And this is the top edge. So when I do a base, I tend to just round it a little bit. So the base is kind of done. Right, so we need to stick this guy on the back of it. Now there's a couple of couple of amazing glues we could use. The most amazing glue, I think, is good old fashioned CA. I like to roll the glue on it a bit. So it goes everywhere and just bring it into contact as we would usually give it a squeeze. Jobs are good. Un. Cool. Good piece, a good tip while I remember, folks. Super glue activator is really, really good. Works on a whole bunch of things, burns you to death if you get on your fingers. But the, what it's really good at is messing up paint. This stuff is amazing at it. The amount of pictures I've had to rework because I've made an arse of it. Right, same conversation again. We glue on the inside ledge. No biggie, just make sure there's enough there. We're going to paint over this anyway. I always bring them to the edge of the bench. Hope you guys can see it. Line them up roughly where he's going to go. Squeeze them down. And there, while well, he's just curing off. That wasn't bad. I only got a little bit of my fingers. And there we go. You know, we've got our guy. A little bit of runoff there. A bit too generous. Yeah, it won't matter. It's getting covered with paint. So here's our guy. There he sits, pretty much where you put him. You know, he's got a fair bit of rock on him in the sense that you can, maybe not. Right, can we go spray bench, please? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Cool. I think Buzz, Buzz, cuz we're wearing a, a mankini would be spectacularly entertaining. He'd have to work on a pretend accent, though. No? Don't think it would work with his uh, his usual one. I reckon. Dave might be on or something. Okay, first spray. Cool. We'll let that press run. Can we go back to the scroll bench, please? So I'm not sure. I need to remember. Was it Linda who asked? Um, so Linda, just turn this on. Put it over the hole you want to drill. Push it through. Jobs are good. And So that gives a perfectly right angle to this. Look, I've got paint everywhere. I need to wash that in a second. Um, and so that means you've got a perfect right angle hole. So if you try to thread through, you're not trying to work out what angle it went. To make that easier, turn it over, give it a wiggle. Make sure you've got like a, kind of makes it like a counter sink. Um, and the other piece I always do is dot where the holes are so that uh, when I'm trying to thread it through, because I'm a bottom feeder, as they say, in the scroll saw world, that means I can see what the heck it is I'm doing. Right, can we go to scroll saw, please? 
So I've lifted him up. Do I need to do that yet? No, we'll do it later. So like I say, this guy's quite good. He really only has these three cuts that are internal. The rest of this is all outside cuts. So like I say on this guy here, it was one of the early patterns I did. Which, mean, which means he suffers from a whole bunch of wobbly lines and hand-drawn stuff. We've got better than that now. Hey Andy, hey Huey. Hello Huey. So there's the pot. And that's how this is going to go. Normally when I do a piece, I would be pulling out all those guys, but the truth in and then bedding them inside it. But in this case, because he's going to be freestanding, we've already done the backer. So now we're just cutting out the pieces that we want for the body and the stem. Stem? Is that what Groot's got? Stem? I think so. When he gets a bit older, I reckon it turns into a trunk. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. He does indeed. Doesn't matter who they are. Dark loves everyone. Awesome, sir. Did you increase? Did you narrow the gap? Cool. Get rid of that bit. Awesome, sir. Hydrodynamics, sir. Hydrodynamics. So normally when I cut when I first cut this guy out, I did him in six mil ply. And he worked really well. Um, but kind of recently my favorite material for these kind of guys is something much smaller. So what we're gonna do here I think is we're going to cut round the bottom of the arm. Hopefully we'll get this guy completely finished today. That would be cool. Bazaar man. So for your information, Mrs. Kirkwood, that's Barry. He secretly he secretly um, a Kent, a Kent equivalent of Han Solo. I'm telling you. All right, mate.
One day, folks, I will persuade Mrs. Kirkwood to uh, let you hear her voice. But she subscribes. But she subscribes to the Leona Lafay, the Leona Lafay, Leona Fay uh, School of Earworming, which is to be to be uh, uh, read but not heard. All right, John. See you later. Who? JP. He's a. Uh... Well, Barry's secretly French. Well, he's not really French. He just lives that close to it. Yeah, he's way down that way. So I think he's closer to he's closer to Cali than he is to other parts of the world. Ah. Uh. We will educate him later. Wow, it doesn't... We don't know. All we ever get to see is the top of his head. So he might be chewy. That obviously being the noise that a Wookiee makes and not a feeble attempt made by a Scotsman doing a scroll so petrol. Cool. Right, onto his head now. Hmm? Only three inside cuts. And we'll do them after we cut the head up. Ha, 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 ha. 
A wise decision, John. A wise decision. So, so, Sinye, the the laughing you heard last night was because of John's because of John's because of John's live. He thought I'd get some company while he was working. Because he's in Canada. Ask him to do live how? On everybody mutes on live. I see. I blame I blame Jamie. I think he led us all astray. Nothing got done. Poor John. Kept trying to get it back on track. Failed miserably. Yep. Just trying to keep some of the detail in the wood. When again, these have to be a bad set. Yep. Yeah. 
Yep. Yeah, the breaking halfway down. Not good. Hmm. You know, I think I can see a press mark on these guys. What do I mean by press mark? It's like they haven't been dead on in the machine and they're being pressed out. It's like a. Mm, we'll see. Let's go back in here. I'll just take these this bit out of the way. Where was I? Around here somewhere. Right. Oops. Shiver out, just add to the detail. <laughs> Rubber dub. Mm -hmm. I have a rubber up. I wonder how warm it is in the workshop. It's very windy outside down here. As I said, this pattern is available on Team Scroll Saw. Go join it if you get any interest in scrolling. Go join Team Scroll Saw. Three patterns, the usual mad chat. T shirts are available for it. All sorts of stuff. You can also go and check out. Scrollers on Facebook, which is administrated by John. Um, would if I could. 
Uh, so feel free to go and check that out too. John, feel free to plug the Scholar's Choice magazine. I think that would be worthwhile. Actually, actually, hold on a minute. Oh, that looks like the Beard 16 sin. Hello. Um, where's my mouse? That's, uh, John, you're a moderator, mate. Feel free to drop in the links for your sites and for the Scholar's Choice magazine. I'm assuming I've got the right magazine in my head. And I'm not full of pool. Just got on this side. It's not actually much to do. How are we doing for time? That's all right. That's okay. Cool, couple of bits off of here today. in the mouth and then we're finished cutting oh and we'll have a look at the stand I give him a rub down we'll see where he's at might still be a little wet but we'll give it a go Last by the earphones. And we're on to the mouth and the eyes. Oh, that's enthusiasm for you. That's all that stuff done with. Right. High balls. High balls. Okay. So a couple of bits in the eyeballs. We've got to cut out the the whites of his eyes. And which are designed to be reflections. We'll see how that works out. We might not include them in this. Right, so what am I doing? Let's do the eyes first.
Yeah, so he's slightly off center. And I let him go. First eye. Second eye. You're awfully quiet, Mrs. Kirkwood. Oh, you're awfully quiet. I just wanted to check you hadn't disconnected. That's a good shout, dark man. Kind of channeling Mr. Berkey, I feel. Cool. We're going to do the mouth, and then we're done cutting. Around about, I don't know, must be about 10 to 4? 5 to 4, not bad. Tongue, finish the mouth now. Cool. 
Now he's all done. All the bits. Shall we go to coloring bench? just pop you there so I can see what the heck's going on. Right. Let's just check our guy. How's he doing? He's not bad. He's only got a couple of missed spots on the back here. But he's alright. We'll just can we go to the spray bench please? And we'll mop up these little missed spots. Do, do, do. Leave him to flash off. Shall we go back to coloring bench, please? And we'll start getting this guy unwrapped. So, just so we've got some point of reference, this is the sort of coloring we're going for. So the eyes are going to be kept uh, birch. This is going to be kept birch. These pieces will be kept birch. This will be stained probably, probably, as he says, reaching for his stains probably well not burnishing cream that's for sure I'll show you the stain in a minute um, um there we go probably something like Indian rosewood from good old Wilco um, these will do with Liberon stain and yeah but what we'll do is we'll start that process now by getting this guy all peeled off, you can see that he's got lots of raggies because he's really only three mil. Um, but what we want, because he's going to have a lot of, so that's going to be base. That's going to be base. These bits here are going to be base. I missed a bit. These guys. So these guys are going to be birch. So getting them clean is really important. Whereas the rest of these guys, you know, we'll be able to sand down a bit before we put the stain on. Cool. You know, but what we might do with this guy's the bigger piece is I might run the heat gun on it just to help it part company. But we'll see. Because it's got lots of little Crenellations. Is that the word? Crenellations. 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 Thank you very much, Mr. Beard. See, this is a, a blast from the past. So this bit here is supposed to represent the headphones. So if any of you guys have seen Guardians of the Galaxy, um... The headphones that, uh, uh, shit, what's his name? Quinn, is it? Uh, Star Lord, the human. Here's part of that conversation. This is quite a tedious task sometimes. This should be quite quick. Quinn, yes, Tommy. That's the man, officer. I 
I think. I don't know if Andy's in the chat. I think Andy's got a Guardians of the Galaxy themed thing coming up in one of his carvings. Uh, I believe my wife is quite confused by that young young player. If that's Baby Shark, I feel she may have missed it. It's Baby Shark, the song Baby Shark. It's uh, terrible. It's quite awful. It's up there with uh, Gangnam Style, but without the madness. I don't want to reveal him, Ed. Okay, I can see you, but I can't hear you. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? There you go. There you go. Right, folks. As I was saying, while I was on mute, we, uh, we use a piece of software here called VMAX, which is quite advanced. And they did an update two days ago. And that update seems to be crashing unexpectedly. Now, what that means is it's just dropping out completely and leaving me high and dry. So I'm going to go back to the previous version. I did some tests yesterday while I was on Facebook Live during the day to confirm my suspicions and today we're absolutely sure so if it freezes up feel free to tell me I'm sure that the guys at VMAX will be working on a solution as we speak. Just me. They heard you for a little while. Then hear me. The dead can you hear can't hear you now. Hope not. I'll go and have a look in a minute. They did hear you. But I'm going to go and check if they can still hear you. I will. Say hello to everyone, just in case. There you go. All gone. For a little while. Yeah. 
How are you, sir? Oh, absolutely. Another JP. Another JP. Not Jamie. What you guys can hear right now is the amount of abuse I'm getting because the, you guys could hear her for a while. Yeah, it's because we are reconnected. Hmm? Mm-hmm. Well, I'd have worked it out eventually. I thought I could hear an echo. I would have told you. You know I would have told you. I'm not going to say what you just said. She says she's a founder member of the Antisocial Society, folks. I feel she's being... <laughs> that wasn't the words I was going to hear. going to tell everybody what you just said. <laughs> Dear, oh dear. I think Wayne understands how uh, direct you can be. Mate, the problem with that, honouring that, is it would depend upon the other person being able to hear it. And she doesn't want you guys to be able to hear anything. She's swearing at me and she's swearing at me right now. She really is. It's quite it's quite she's quite quite fierce. Yeah, it's me for a start. But she managed that, so I reckon the rest of you'll be alright. Right, a couple of little bits to crack out of this. Uh, these uh, uh, sanding sticks aren't available on my website. Make your bloody own. Cool. A few bits in there worth just wiggling out. Cool. Right. Staining and gluing and all that kind of shenanigans. Let's get after this. Right. When you use the, the labels that I do for most of the great thing about the labels is is they're on stick so when you're doing uh, some staining like we're about to do it means that you can actually leave the guys sitting down and uh, how are we doing for time spot on remember folks Andy has a live at 4 that's live my backside a premium feel free to duck across give Andy some support and come back to see the finished article if I've not done Cool. And on with some black gloves, which I have been treating as gold dust, since they're a bit hard to find right now. Well, a bit hard to find cheaply. The folks who really need them, I hope, have them. 
most of the time I just use them for staining. So, make a pad, get them out, and then I just rub it into the surface of the wood. In this case, we've also got to do the edge because it's going to be visible. Make sure we do the eyes and the inside of the mouth. Now you could use a spray on for this, but what you'll probably find it's not worth it. Most of the surface area you can get just by wiping. What's sometimes the case is as here, there's some parts of this that are a bit too deep. So, a bit of a brush, pick up the piece and just dab it in, run the brush up the inside. Doesn't matter if it overspills straight away. We'll do a, a little bit of clean up, but just make sure there's no wonderfully obvious bits of the original colour. Cool. So we've done that with the bit underneath. Give them a little wipe down, and we can see that's pretty much the colour we're going for. Right there. More to do. Nothing quite so, uh, as we say, north of the border fittery. So we'll just get on and cover some ground on that. Most of these kind of guys here, I'll press in. Five thirty. Wow, thank you, Andy. When we're done, folks, make sure you go and see Andy. Andy, if you're not, uh, if you're not a, a mod on here. Can one of the mods get a copy of Andy's link and uh, make sure if he's in link he'd be blue. Yeah, someone get a hold of this this premiere and make sure that we get it um, in the chat. I reckon Andy would suit a man, can Views. It is. Doing them slightly different. Just for a bit of fun. I don't think I've quite got the same light oak as we did last time. We can always change it. Thanks, Wayne.
Where are the no subtitles? You guys can hear, as my wife's asking me how to turn the subtitles on. So, orange is the new black, as they say. So, if I remember rightly, I used lever on for the orange last time. One of the things I've discovered about the lever on stains um, is they tended to gunk up these cheap um, spray balls. One to remember for next time. Mm hmm. Uh, cool beans. Cool. So that's the bulk of the staining done. We might have a little touch up, but that's the bulk of it. Okay. Let's get this guy out the way and back up where he lives upon the shell keeping the cable away we can turn off the extraction now let's see where we go how's our stand so here's our guy he's looking alright isn't he oh, we might use a fresh piece And we won't have to use a fresh piece. So, the tissue is for a bit of padding. The backers from the labels are to provide some support so you won't stick to it. We're laying them up. Get the idea, folks? As long as he's happy. That's all that matters. Right, what have I missed? These guys. The pot was what I was thinking about. Bang! I feel it's a mercy. Just for the effect, you need to redone to completely be standalone. Um, huge one. Just go with that. Is 
anyone that you might want to help. Pretty hot. What? What did he say? Oh, I think he's just talking about that. There you go, folks. Little adjustment. I'm cheating, Dark Man. I've got a I've got a pattern here. I can see it. Watch them come to life in a minute. Oh, I was a mark. He's a troublemaker. He's an actual troublemaker. Spends his entire day boozing and whiskey. Hmm? Oh, he's definitely more trouble than John. ones over here for my sales. Midnight Joker. Do do do. Ha. Huh? Oh. He needs restained. Yeah, it's the same basic problem as we had with the original pattern. It's fine. Ah, dinner mind. That's it. You will all click like. So we'll glue this, we'll glue them down live. I think he'll need restained. So it just needs a little splash. Yeah, I'd be fine doing the glow up on this guy. He's quite quite small. Not a lot of pieces. The dry fit that I always do, precursor to. Why would you want to go off me? I'm a lovely guy. I'm being. I'm just. I'm just sharing with you. Sharing with you. I mean, in this case, I mean, we could tell you the, the real dark secrets, you know, about how, how we used to wear a bowler hat on a, on a bus. I'm trying 
Tried to tell everyone he was mother from the Avengers. It's true. Right, so that's our dry fit of our guy. What do we think? I'm not going to crack on and be your secrets, Dark Matter. We might need to change the rating. One of the things I did to the workshop quite recently is I made this a bench so I can get my feet underneath it. So that's kind of how he's looking so far, but we're going to glue him up now. When I'm doing glue ups, I tend to use a disposable brush, a piece of MDF as a splashboard, and brush can. All the best fibs are grounded in reality. Oh, there's a good Monty Python Groot crossover. Like that. Hi, Steve. So this is Gorilla Clear. I really like Gorilla Clear. It gives you just enough work time to be able to do most of this. Um, what you'll frequently find me doing is to get the stuff to get it set right. A little tap in the glue, a bit of a wipe. Drop them back into place. Push down. Same with the something like the eyes. Scrape off the excess. Set where you want it to go. You push the eyes into the place you want. I'm doing these guys first. Why Gorilla Glue and not Super Glue? Is the question I didn't hear. The main reason is, is you have a little bit longer work time to get things lined up. So. I'm um, not sure what you mean, Dark. No, so the foam stuff I didn't even know about until the other day. Uh, Scott, the blue light turner, gave me a tub of this stuff to go and have a play with. Um, might be useful in picture frames, might be useful in a few places. Just that void filling stuff might be quite useful for a lousy fit. Or what is that, a French fit? Is that what they say? Um... Like I say, again, the dark man up to no good. Never been known. Yeah, it takes sets sets up too quick. Unless you're absolutely sure. And it's in the right place, like sticking a big rectangle to another big rectangle. You can properly cock up a couple of hours worth of work. Absolutely, sir. I feel that's part of the part of what it's good for, but by the same token, it also winds me up. You want just enough glue for it to set up. You know, Gorilla's really good. I mean, it'll start to become, this guy will be able to be stood up within, I don't know, 20 minutes, something like that. If Rich is in the chat, Rich, uh, I think, was supported by Gorilla. I think he still is. Rich, if you've got some specific details, then let me know.
going to move this over a bit. Well, then reach over there. We can see it's going down in Groove Town with all the hip kids. These uh, paintbrushes you can buy in packs of 50 on eBay for a few quid. You know, not much good for painting, but uh, for glue ups, awesome. I said, I think Richard is still supported by Gorilla. Cool. That piece there is just not good enough on it. Let's give another little blob. We'll pop them back in. Pretty much exactly where we want them. That's better. Right. Now onto these little puppies. These will all follow the dip process you saw me do earlier. Otherwise, they're an absolute pain in the butt to try and get the glue in the bottom of. The goal when you're doing this is to try and keep the glue underneath. When you put up like a this guy will get lacquered up, so you won't see the any little dribbles of glue that may be over the side. But the goal is to keep that to a minimum. Oops. Ping. All right, mate. Mm-hmm. Concentrating. I need to fix the timeout on that screen. It is going off too quick. Last two PCs. I need to order some beer. I think I'm down to the last few bottles. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Folks, my wife is saying, why do you want to drink beer? You could drink water. How many people out in the chat think beer is an equivalent for water? Cool, that's our guy. He'll need about 
20 minutes to set up. You know, he's going to need a little bit of time. Um, just one of the other ones. So we did this to yesterday and today. Samurai Warrior piece. This may be coming out as a video. Watch for this one. Hope you guys like this one. Um, but Groot will probably take about 20 minutes. I'm not going to sit here, keep you all here, quite literally watching glue dry. You know, you kind of get the idea when he sits up. You quite get, you kind of get the idea. Here's our chair. Am I turning that wrong way? You kind of get the idea of what he's going to look like. You know, I mean, freestanding sort of piece. Yeah. Who said my wife is clearly mad? I told you he was trouble. Cool. So that's kind of it, folks. Now, you could sit here and watch this dry. Um, um, but I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't recommend it. Cool. That's it. Hope you enjoyed it. There'll be some pics of them up on Instagram shortly. And uh, we're just going to head back to the PC bench. We'll take our guy with us. Cool. So here he is. Bring him in. Bring him in. So what do you guys think? You know, sits in with the, sits in with the Pac-Man. You know, there we go. I am Groot. That's mad. Right, folks. Thank you so much for coming in today and watching this blast from the past being remade. Um, remember, Andy's on at 5.30. Check out Andy and I. If any of the mods, I've got a link. Drop the link into the chat. Um, going on for tonight, I th I've lost track of who's on. I think Stuart Farini's not on, but Chris Fisher might be. Um... Makers International tonight at 9.30. Jamie Page doing a premiere after that. Caitlin after that. And then tomorrow lunchtime, we have the ever-lovely Wood Jedi himself, Mr. Wayne Turner. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this today. A little bit of a blast from the past. A little bit of something different. And with any luck, you know, I mean, we'll have somebody, folks out there, remember, Team Scroll, so go get this pattern if you're going to scroll sauce under your bench, have a go. So no, 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 no crest tonight. So no crest tonight. So check out for the one downstream. All right, guys. Catch up with you later. Cheers. Bye-bye. Hit the button.